Ouch, stranger! You're really not that bad. No, wait. I'm not a stranger. In fact, I was... Ah! Hey! Long time no see! You haven't changed a bit. Wait! Do you know this spiker guy? I'm telling you... No, you're wrong, Ibuki. This isn't a guy. Look! Allow me to introduce Miss Akira Kazama. A girl? Yes. Apologies for the confusion. Since the two of us hadn't seen each other for a long time, we had planned on getting together to catch up. But then I told panzuki san about it, and she decided to arrange this tea party for all of us. Ah... Uh... Now I understand why she invited me, too. Yes, thank you for inviting me as well. Now I get it. Sorry I thought you were a suspicious guy. I'm Ibuki. So how do you two know each other? Well, I could tell you. But why don't you do it, Akira? You remember? Well, it was way back when I was on a mission to find my brother. I was undercover at an all-boys high school, wearing my helmet to disguise myself. Back then, she helped me with my training. And that's how we got to know each other. Ah, so you two are sort of battle buddies, huh? I kind of figured that. Yeah, those were the days. In fact, I'm getting excited just remembering. What? It's been a long time, so... Uh, well, aren't we having a girls' tea party today? But you already had a fight with Ibuki! Why can't you fight me too? Uh, uh, That's a little too close, Miss Sakura. Aww. Uh, you must be Kamsuki-san. Uh, how do you do? A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Akira. You are the sister of the legendary gang leader, Daigo Kazama, correct? It is an honor to meet you. Greetings! Welcome to the Kansuki Tea Party! I brought some desserts from Delphone Bakery. Miss Sakura kindly recommended it. Their cakes are really delicious. <laughs> I've always wanted to eat their sweets! Awesome! It's definitely a popular shop! There are always people standing in line! Did you buy everything in the store? I did a little research and noticed the company has great potential. Thus, I purchased a majority stake. Please, eat as much as you like and let me know how everything tastes. What? You bought the store itself? I do always tend to go big. I can eat? As much as I want? However, before we begin, Miss Akira Kazama, would you do me the honor of fighting me? What? Hansuki san? Pardon my confusion. But I thought while we all chatted with each other, we were going to have tea and desserts? Yeah, that's true. But her tea parties always seem to end up like this. A moment in the heat of battle is worth more than a thousand words. What better way to get to know and understand one another is there? You know, she's right. That's how Akira and I got to know each other. By fighting. Katsuki-san can't resist competing with a strong rival. Since you and Sakura have fought each other before, she's quite eager to fight you as well. I understand. Then, I accept your challenge. I feel like a celebrity. Darn it! I accidentally brought my school swimsuit! Well, now that we arrived, allow me to greet you all again. Welcome to the girls' party at Kansuki Private Beach! <laughs> Take this! Take this! Stop it! Wow! You're a really good swimmer. Uh-huh. Am I? Someone taught me a while ago. Who was it? A boyfriend, maybe? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. <laughs> By the way, what
What do you want to do next? You know, after this? Huh? Well, what do you mean? What else but have a match? I, Karin Kanzuki, will never fall to the same opponent twice. Yeah, she can't stand losing. Huh? Not again. I've got dibs on the next five. Isn't that right, Akira? I understand. Then, you are trying to search for that strange energy? Correct. After Bison was destroyed, the positive energy returned, and the world went back to normal. However, even in this tranquil atmosphere, I sense a source of disturbing energy from the one called G. To see through its true nature, I think I have no choice but to touch it directly with my soul. Now I see. That's why you were practicing against me. You wanted to try and refine your soul power. <laughs> I am sorry, old master. No need to apologize. Besides, I got this nice shirt from you as a little souvenir. I am very happy that you like it. The traditional Japanese crane pattern is very chic. You have such great taste. <laughs> <laughs> Then, old master, I will take my leave. Hmm. Hmm. Did you see that, Yamasin? She must be in love with me. Ah, if this could only have happened a century earlier. <laughs> Let's leave that for now. I do sense a strange energy. Hm. It is as I suspected. Eee. Anyhow, it's time for dinner. Hello! I thought we might have a meal together. Welcome, old master. You came all this way just to share a meal? Well, perhaps we could have a little talk while the curry is simmering. Let me pose a question to you. What happens when evil ambition drives the world to the brink of destruction? Bison, I can only assume you are talking about him. However, that man no longer... ...exists, am I right? If you are convinced it was his psycho power and his tremendous army, which sent the whole world into crisis, then I would say we have avoided the worst possible outcome for the time being. However, what if a real threat does not have a physical form like an army, but is something intangible, like a force of will? What if it is his dark ambition itself that is trying to swallow the entire world? Do you mean, even after his death, his dark ambition is still corrupting our world? That is difficult for me to imagine. Then please, allow me to surmise. I didn't expect that. Old Master, you are most unpredictable. Ha ha ha! How was that? Well, this may have been just for fun. Even if something was just for fun, and if one has the sheer will of force to win, no matter what, or if one is willing to consider the possibility of losing, the result could be entirely different. My mind did not consider this. Oh, the will of Bison? Could it be? Yes, the dark ambition of that man with his tremendous power has already been exerted upon this world. It consistently threatens our existence. If he has used that concept to instill his will into others, then the apocalypse may yet come to pass. So you're saying, even after Bison's death, we still can't stop the world from moving towards destruction? Sadly, yes. And that, my dear friend, may be the true nature of psycho power. Corrupt and control people's minds. It is indeed quite disturbing. 
that case, how do we avert that which is inevitable? Well, firstly, you could stop with the pessimistic attitude. Consider this. If such a powerful force of will could threaten the entire world, then those people in the right state of mind may have the power to save it instead. What is strength? Most who seek it end up vying for domination or destruction. Such things are a natural consequence, but they are ultimately meaningless. To overwhelm, subjugate, or even kill those who oppose you is but one interpretation of strength. However, if one's mind were free from such desires, and they sought out strength purely for its own sake, if a human with such a clear and unselfish state of mind does indeed exist, then that person can prevent the impending apocalypse, but only that person with that kind of strength. Oh. Aha! Well then, I believe that the curry is finally ready. Oh. Yes. Shall we? I'm starving. Yes. But, old master, I'd like to hear more of your thoughts on this. Perhaps you young people should figure it out. Ah, I'm starving. So, what kind of curry have you prepared today? But, old master, I... To seek strength purely for its own sake. To find someone in this world who is both pure of mind and pure of heart. That would also be very interesting. <laughs> to see one's fate, one must fight their future. <laughs> Master, you are so cool! You shouldn't only admire my words, but also concentrate a little more on your lessons, Manat. <laughs> yes, Master. By the way, what do you have planned for today? <laughs> Can you predict that? Ah, uh, you want me to practice fortune telling? Right. Hmm, let me think. Trap peas? No, I guess not. Tragedy? No, that's not right. Oh, it's travel, isn't it? Yes, correct. Oh, Master, are you traveling somewhere? If you have some errand, I can do it for you. No, Manana. This appears to be a matter that only I am destined for. I will be away for a while. Please keep an eye on things. Yes, Master. Have a safe journey! A strange energy, is that right? Yes. That man has been destroyed. And that dangerous power has disappeared with him as well. But I feel something different. This is like... Hmm. Having lived a little longer than you, I can see beyond that which you cannot. I can say that this energy is not like Bison's. I don't sense any evil or imbalance. But on the other hand, I do sense vibrations that are one with nature. Do you feel it as well? Yes. I feel it, too. However, it is an overwhelming force of nature and very difficult for me to ignore, and that gives me pause. Now I understand why you came all the way here. You wish to challenge it. Yes. That is right, Earthling. I believe you now understand. You see who I am, and who you are, and what is to become of all of us. Oh, this can't be. But it can. I'm sure you can see it in your mind's eye very clearly. You and I, and all the people of the Earth, where we are now heading to. It's not true. Because it's... Because it's the end of everything. My dear Earthling, my dear intelligent Earthling, 
The vision you just saw is undoubtedly the same vision as mine. It is our fate. The same fate as all my Earthlings. And the same fate of the entire universe! <gasps> Despite appearances, I am not sure who he really is. However, the vision I saw after I battled with him was all too real. The world is going to end, as if a gigantic glacier fell into the ocean. And now, it's too late to find a way to stop it. Shadaloo and Bison. I believed if I could eliminate their evil, the world would be able to escape from crisis. I believed that, but was I too naive? Master! Welcome home! of such dangerous power pushed the world to the precipice of destruction. But even after that man's ambition has been crushed, we are still on the path of annihilation. The world had already been heading in the wrong direction long before I realized it. Now it's too late. The answer lies not in the future, but in the past. We must stop the seed of evil from ever taking root. And the only one who can do that is me. The me of the past. Only I have the ability to stop this. If the person I was could see into my mind right now and realize the situation... Yes, I might be able to start it all over again. From zero. Psycho style, as we both say. <laughs> I'm not psycho style. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, Jimmy, you really have become quite something. Whoa, Blankerton! Yeah, I never thought a creepy doll like this would make such an impact. Very impressive! Blanca-chan is not creepy! Uh, uh. Well, that doesn't really matter. By the way, look at this! Ta-da! It's the Psycho Boy Doll! Yahoo! <laughs> Jimmy, I copied you and mass-produced this! Isn't it brilliant? <laughs> to build up a following for Psycho Style, I'm going to use this mascot character to win the hearts of teens. Great, huh? <laughs> if that creepy Blanca Chong can become popular, then my super cool doll will become two times, no, five times more popular. No doubt it'll be ten times, or even a hundred times more popular. Right, Jimmy? Lunkachan is not creepy. <clears throat> well, anyhow. I'm going to do it, no matter what. With this Sekyo Boy doll, I'll win lots of teenagers' hearts all over the world! <laughs> right, Jimmy, let's make this a hit, and then we'll make our Sekyo style a hit, too! Dan, I'm not Sekyo style. Don't worry about the small details like that. Besides, Sekyo Style is number one in the world! <laughs> yeah! Just you wait and see! Father! Sekyo! <laughs> super cool! Sekyo! Super cool! Sekyo! Super cool! <laughs> <laughs> My 
name is... My name is Seth! Ah! Crap! Reboot failed, I guess. I am... I am a king! I am not your stupid doll! Warning. Personality formation profile. Reference error. I want all the fighter's skill inside me! I am the strongest! Ah! <laughs> oh well. Another toy is broken. Not my problem. I must. I must. Yes, I must. Warning, the error level of personality integration has exceeded its threshold. I must find that one. I must find and utterly defeat him! That one. Bye, son! I found you, you bastard. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> I'm really grateful. At last, the time has come. It's time I defeated you by my hand, Bison. Huh? Bison? What the hell are you talking about? You created Seth, and you gave me power. Now you shall regret that mistake in hell, Bison! What's going on? I felt something strange, like those nightmares I had. <laughs> How's that, Bison? Now do you see? This is the power of one who you called a doll! Stop it! Damn you. I'm not that guy! Ed, get back! Huh? You bastard! Now I found you, Bison! <laughs> How's that, Bison? My name is Seth, and I am the king! This thing... It's not seeing us. It seems like... They're fighting with something else. <laughs> I found you, Bison! I'll finish you here and now! Is that what... It's our... shadow of psychopower. They're attracted to it. Bison! Kneel down before my power! You will become part of my data! Let's go, Ed. This one... is not our enemy. Yeah. Seems like it. <laughs> it's the beginning of my era! <laughs> I am the king! <laughs> A serious error has occurred. Please reset the personality module. Let me ask, what is it you see when you gaze upon me? What is it that I am seeing? There is no point discussing that. My vision and what we are looking for have always been one. Your answer is most obtuse. I'll rephrase. What do you wish for my gate of harmony? What are your plans? Good sir, we are all Earthlings, and therefore must all have one wish, and that is... 
to become one with the Earth, and I, who is President of the World! It is an odd feeling, but the power of this one. I know I have felt it somewhere before, but where? At last. At last he reveals himself. Girl! Damn him! How can he reveal himself in such an idiotic manner? Just to attract public attention. To do it for that reason alone is an unforgivable transgression. So, Rat, why don't you bring Gil to me? <laughs> Lord Urien! Did you think I was unaware that you were sneaking around, plotting with the Emperor? I was just simply following the oath of allegiance to our secret society. Don't waste your breath. Just get him. Why? Why can't I defeat you? I think you know the reason why. Everything is as the prophecy has been written. All that was, is, or will be has been destined. Then I'll destroy that accursed prophecy. Fear not. Your time as my spare will soon be at an end. Did you just call me your spare? How dare you insult me like that? You will never fulfill your mission to be my replacement. You will never serve any purpose at all. That is because... Only I will be able to achieve the wish of our organization. The dream for the last 2,000 years. I, the Emperor Gil. Enough of this, you bastard! When I fulfill this long-awaited wish, the prophecy that binds you and I and the tenets we all follow will disappear. And then you can live any way you like. Wait! I... Look at me! Girl! Please, look at me! sees me, it's like they just want to start beating me up! Cool down, cop! This is a legitimate place of business! The police aren't wanted around here. Um, but boss... You know, I think it might be good if cops like Lucia stop by. Then customers might feel safer coming in here, right? Uh, yeah! That's exactly why I came by to visit your shop. <laughs> Stop laughing! So tell me, what part of my shop doesn't look safe? Well, boss, it's your... Face? Ah! Cut the crap already! That's it! I've had it with you two jerks! Abigail appears to be running a legitimate operation. So it's possible that what Haga heard was a false rumor, at least for now. But just to be safe, I better give the current mayor a little heads up about what I heard. Mr. Mayor! Oh, uh, Officer Morgan, you on patrol? How's it going? You want to talk to me about something? 
As the mayor, not really. But as my old friend Cody... Do you mind indulging me for a moment? <laughs> nice kick. Guess you still haven't lost your moves, Lucia. Reminds me of the good old days when we fought together against the Mad Gear. Thanks, Cody. I'm glad to see that becoming mayor hasn't made you gone all soft, either. But if you do something careless, things may get Algarete real quick. You mean the city council opposition? Yep. I heard a rumor that the Mad Gear may be trying to stick their noses into that. <sighs> so you gotta watch out. Having secret meetings in the city, late at night, with suspicious people? That kind of thing, it don't look too good. <laughs> I'll take it under advisement. Thanks a lot. Got a lot of work accomplished, as usual. What? Oh crap! I forgot about my lunch! The noodles! Man, they're completely ruined! I can't believe I let this happen again! Ugh! Next time somebody wants my help, they better bring me some noodles first! Before you get in the tub, put your long hair up. That's good manners. <sighs> now I'm totally refreshed. Yeah, Japanese Sento have such a quaint and timeless atmosphere. Now, Rashid of the Turbulent Wind will dry his body. And he'll do it just like this! Come, Storm! Ooh. Hold it right there! Tornado in the changing room is forbidden. Training in the shower! Stop right now! <sighs> you should relax! Seeking our dream. Who cares about him? 
I know Abigail has more guts, so he'll take my offer. But you know, Poison, the boss has been working really hard running... Huh. Abigail doesn't have the smarts to be a boss. What makes you think you can just show up here and talk to me like that? Poison, Abigail's working very hard to manage the shop. He can even smile at customers like a real businessman. Hey, boss, show us a good sales smile. Welcome to our shop, nice customer. I'm sorry, Abigail. I was being selfish. I'm sure you'll be a great business owner. Take care of Roxy, boss man. You got sprung, so I was nice enough to recruit you for my organization. What are you doing? Why the hell would someone like you take on the mayor's job? <laughs> it just sort of happened. About that offer to make me a star. Can you ask me again when my term ends in a few years? <clears throat> Metro City Police? I'm here because we received a report that the mayor was being attacked by a thug. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate you coming by, Officer Morgan. But there's no need to worry. We were just having a uh, conversation about the good old days. Hmm. That's what's going on. So uh, you can take things from here, Lucia. tour trying to make some pro wrestling organization you and that big guy wasn't he named hugo uh-huh it doesn't take a detective to realize that you guys had a fallen out hey watch it now i don't want any trouble even if i wanted to make trouble it wouldn't help there are some things we just can't control. You could be born to a rich family, or to a family living in a garbage dump. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can't choose how you're born into this world. Look at Hugo. He's a big blockhead who has no ability except to beat people up. He was born to a fate of always fighting. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. In fact, I think our mayor is kind of the same way. Still, it's not like I hate people who can't live on their skills or their smarts. <sighs> We've already talked too much. Time for me to go. Where the hell did this blockhead come from? What do you want? I don't need someone who runs away just to crawl back to me. But... The worst ones are the ones who run away from the situation and never have the guts to face it again. So if you got the guts, maybe you aren't the worst kind of blockhead I despise. You want a second chance? Fine, then! But I won't! 
won't go easy on you, Hugo. Strong. However, this strength did not come from Batman. Whatever you say, without me, that man turns into an empty shell. <laughs> we shall see. But there is one thing I can assure you. I have absolutely no fear of you. You do not have the strength to crush the spirit of the king. <laughs> Stop spouting nonsense. You will realize soon enough the essence of true strength lies in me. Hmm. Ryu, now I understand what you are fighting with. Just a shadow. <laughs> I'm sure you know it well, old fool. Light can't exist without shadow. I am the true power, and I am what you have been longing for. Impudent. You are nothing but a soulless silhouette. I am in sight of you, old fool. However, you willingly kept that part at bay. Because you are faithful to your precious laws of heaven. <laughs> hmm. Fight them. Knock them down. Kill them! Strength has no purpose other than that! The answer is already obvious. Because I have won! <laughs> to go from being human, to beyond human, to beyond demon, to reach heaven, a mere silhouette like you would never understand. You speak of strength and winning. The true fist is not created from the strength of the body, nor can it be created from the satsu. Watch and learn! Good! Seigen Yaki! shadow that can't be contained and won't be tamed. Tell me, is this the path you have chosen, boy? I can smell your blood. I sense that you are here. <laughs> I am strong. That one, and that one. I defeated them all. The ones who you wanted to defeat, I have defeated! Do you accept it? I am the strongest part of you! I cannot deny you. However, I do not accept that you are me. Then what are you going to do now? You want to fight me? Defeat me? How can you even think you can do that? <laughs> because I'm not going to fight with you. Die! 
You are a coward! You're so easily scared, and you are mine! If you think you can corrupt me, if you think you can destroy me, just do it. But if you don't want to, then don't. Ah, you bastard! Why aren't you afraid of me? If you want to exist, then exist. If you want to leave, then leave. I will continue as I have done, and do whatever I choose to. Ah, you think... You think you're stronger than me? But how? I am... Don't worry, Willem Mayu. There's no one who can defeat me. Not even a shadow of myself. Yes, Nawapun. I'm all right. I appreciate the meal. Of, of course. Well then, have a good night, Master Sagat. I see. This is the Satsui Noharu. <laughs> this is what the man has been fighting with. Understand what you were fighting with. I understand your strength and what you were seeking. And now I understand what I am seeking.
all people of Earth will have equal opportunities. I want you to join me. The door to conversation is always open, because I am the father to all citizens of the Earth. Woohoo! Well, how about that? Looks like he's getting more views now. You know what? Only I could have done that. A fight that's also entertaining, don't you think? <sighs> well, I've got to admit, I might have held back a little too much. Young bastard. The power of the people is my power, and our power is the power of the Earth. Power to the people! Power to the Earth! What is it we fight for? The answer's quite simple. It is no doubt something very clear. Our planet is quite unique because we are all together as one. Master, it seems that some strange person has appeared. He doesn't seem like that Mr. Bison, who I fought before, but he might have some sort of power, but maybe not. Oh, you told his fortune, Master. This card is... The Fool. In other words... Dumb. I knew it. You know, I was thinking exactly the same way, Master. A face like this must be dumb. Huh? What? Isn't he? So you're saying I have to meet him? Just to be sure? I understand, Master. It's my next errand. I'll get going. was showing me in the most uncool way. Why is this happening to me? What? Well, yes, I know. I mean, Master, I don't know what happened. While I was trying to figure out whether he's strong or weak, dumb or smart, before I knew it, I had already lost. Oh, Master, please avenge me! will become my and all life forms unshakable power. For now is the time that all Earth citizens join together. Oh, damn it! Why are you harassing me for no reason, you bastard? You parked illegally. And because... I don't like your face, Abigail. What? I want to improve the quality of life for the people of Metro City. I want to see everyone smiling by getting rid of garbage like you. What? Wait. You're Cody! You get sprung from prison? Now that I'm the mayor of Metro City, I have to ensure every citizen's bright future. If you have any complaints, take them up with City Hall. When Hagar finally left, I thought things were getting better. But now you come along. What the hell's going on in this city? Mayor Cody, why were you so violent? <laughs> it was just a little conversation with one of my constituents.
Every citizen's bright future. Hmm. Sounds like a beautiful slogan. Truth is, it's not that I don't like this city. In fact, that's exactly why I fought to protect this city in the past. Yeah, the world was a much simpler place back then. All I did was just beat up on those who were acting like thugs in the city. And that would pretty much take care of the problem. But now, look at me. I gotta deal with the city council, public hearings, contract bids, lobbying. And the villains are now hiding like shadows, behind a system that protects them. I can't clean up this city by simply beating them up. Even so, I still can't forget about how things used to be. Back then I felt alive, endless painful fistfights one after another. Those were the days. Now look how boring it's all gotten. Responsibilities? By the way... I know you're out there. What the hell do you want? You've been following me for a while. Greetings, Mayor Cody. My name is Zeku. Ninja, right? Don't expect me to be impressed. I used to know a guy a lot like you. From digging up scandals on your enemies to private armies, I can certainly help you manage the local government. Sales pitch, huh? Sounds like a dangerous offer. I'm not quite sure I can get it approved in the city budget. Well, whatever. Since you're here, why don't you show me what you've got? You may be right. I can't manage things so simply these days. However... If I did things from the shadows like you suggest, I'd be no better than the people I'm fighting against. Speaking of which... You wanna go another round? Let's fight! Oh, uh... Miss Marlowe. It's, uh... You. Who else were you expecting to see, Mayor? Where have you been wandering all this time? I've been calling you. You're mayor of this city. We need to be able to be in contact anytime, anywhere. I understand, Miss Marlowe. I know what my job is. Are you sure about that? Look, you see that street light over there? It's broken and it's dangerous. We need to request funds from the city council to fix it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you can't just say, yeah, yeah, even for just one street light. Considering the financial situation of the city. Mayor? Are you listening to me? Mayor? Mayor Cody? Years have passed, and I'm all grown up now. I've gradually gained the power to confront him, my nightmare. But I assume all those times I tried to escape, and even this power, are exactly what he planned from the start. I used to scream and cry saying that, but I know there's no one to help me. My only reality is this cold, dark room. That's all. Forever, I guess. There's no place to escape. Yeah, we're escaping from this hellhole. The moment I saw him, I realized he was the same. 
same as me. What's wrong? You stupid or something? Are you coming with me or not? And then, our journey had begun. <sighs> what the hell was I thinking? Man, if you were this strong, I didn't need to go rescue you. You could have easily escaped by yourself. <laughs> Nine, Ed. If it wasn't you who came to my rescue, I can only assume I would have rotted away in that nightmare. Damn it! That last run sucked! Let's have one more match! I know. Ed, there are more people who you have to rescue. Yeah, I'm sure there are people out there who are just like us, somewhere. I want to, I need to rescue them. So that's why. I have to become stronger. Much, much stronger than I am right now. Yeah, I understand. become stronger together. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I stepped on it. So, what is this thing? <sighs> Honestly. Ah, so they told you that you could become very popular. Yes. That's right. So I had to make lots of Blanca-chan. Blanca-chan is cute, but nobody buy. Too much overstock. Mama's sad. I get it. So this manufacturer cheated you. I'm sorry about that. Sean, let's do something to help him. You're good at figuring out these things. Not really, but, hmm, let me think. Maybe you could bring these to Japan. That might work. Japan? Sure, if it got in a Japanese anime or video game, it could become super popular. Oh, I see. The Japanese like weird things. Ugh, Japan! You run a day in the jungle. Hey, you! Please don't bang on the machines. <gasps> you broke it. Hold it right there. Uh, I didn't realize it was you, Jimmy-san. But you can't go around destroying game machines. <sighs> Sakura, I'm sorry. It's just... Ah, so this is a Blanca-chan doll. Hmm, I understand. Maybe... I can ask the manager if we can put the Blanca-chan dolls in the crane game. Look at this 
gross. Is this supposed to be cute? Uh, <laughs> cute? Not really. Actually, it's kind of... For no reason. No reason? But challenging you to a fight is the best way to test your true skill. Mm, maybe. But we're not kids anymore. And we fight every time we see each other. Is this the best use of our time? Recently, I've been thinking. Being strong or becoming stronger? I wonder. Is that the best way for me to live? Does this make me happy? Oh, oh, Miss Sakura. Has your passion for street fighting always been that terribly minuscule? Then, would you say the same thing if he was here? Yes, indeed, I saw Mr. Ryu. Recently, during a crisis, I summoned a group of fighters from all over the world. He was his typical self. I'm sure even now he's off somewhere deep in training. If it's Ryu-san, then that's a different story. I want to see him. I want to fight him! I see. So Ryu-san is still training. That sounds like fun. I wish I could go see him. I wish, but I can't. I don't have money like Kanzuki-san. I still have to work a part-time job. How could I go jetting around the world on a whim? Excuse me, you work here? There's somebody who's going crazy over by the crane game. Oh well, back to work. Okay, I'm on my way. Have a good evening. Whew, I'm glad that's over. It's way easier to fight with people than to deal with customers. But is it really okay to spend the rest of my days like this? Street fighting is fun. At first, I only wanted to be stronger, but then there were other things to think about too. I wanted to be a teacher, so I studied. I've got this part-time job now, but I need a real job. Get a real job. Maybe get married eventually. And then grow old, I guess. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, Ryu-san! Wh what are you doing here? Um, uh, well, Miss Kanzuki summoned me because of some emergency. It seems that her best friend is troubled about something. Um, well, it's not like that exactly. I see then. In that case... You've become stronger. Your skills have improved greatly. It seems that your worries have helped you mature. Yeah, a lot of time has passed since we last fought. We all have to grow up at some point. Well, Ryo-san, can I ask you a question? No matter how strong you get, eventually you get old and die. Being alone, just seeking strength, only to eventually die, is that the right way? 
should have a disciple to carry on my skills to the next generation. Unfortunately, I'm still training, so I cannot take on a disciple. Well, having a disciple is similar, but I meant having children to create new bonds in our lives. Uh, I see. I've never thought of it. But that is another type of strength. Yeah, I feel that's one kind of strength. A bond which can connect me to my future. Thank you, now I understand what I was looking for. And I realize this is what I wanted. I'm glad to have helped. The strength of life. I see. I think you should seek out such strength in your own way. Yeah, I I'll do that. As I was saying, I'm going to be starting my own ninja group. When you are ready, please feel free to join. Jeez. At first I thought he was a good-looking guy, but he's just some old creep. Man, ninjas are just so weird. I need to find a regular guy to be my boyfriend. is on, and the world seeks a new warrior for a new age. As my journey takes me beyond Bushinryu, I have begun to seek a new style. Greetings, Miss Kanzuki. I am Seku. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. However... I regret to say that we already have enough Oniwaban. But Miss Kanzuki, in these globalized times, intelligence, espionage, sabotage, all ninja services I offer that you should consider outsourcing. Outsourcing, hmm? Let me think about it. That should be a sufficient sampling. Should you find a task that requires, I shall be at your call. Till then. Well, he is indeed skillful. My style has evolved. Transformation itself is in the very essence of the shinobi. Still, how can an older ninja like myself contribute to the modern world? While I'm still deep in thought, I should probably decide a name for my new fighting style. Shinbu Shinryu. No, no! In today's global age, we should consider an English name. How about slashers? Haja Bushinryu. Slayers! Toraburyu. Striders. Goma Fushin Seiburyu. Spats nuts! Oboro Shingetsu Yobane no Ipa. Spats! Tenjo Tenjo. That takes care of one errand. You know, come to think of it, what was it that Master told me? Oh, I remember. Fit is a fixed line. However, it is not considered foolish to resist it. It's never too late to resign oneself to one's fate, even from beyond the grave. Yeah, that's it. Master's so cool! Oops, I 
still have errands left to tend to. What's that? I told you, Mr. Hermit. My master has sent you an urgent warning. One body can no longer contain such evil power because of the tremendous... Um... Uh, what did master say after that? Hmm... You're talking about the power that has already come into our world again. I already knew about that. And now, be it for good or evil, those beings who are bound to that fate are starting to move ever closer to one another. Yes, yes, that's it! Also, she said that the end results of this battle of destiny are to be carefully observed. So that's what you came here to tell me? Yes. I was sent by my master to inform all parties that are involved. Looks like another errand complete. Now I just have to go back to Master and... Oh. This power... so strong. It looks like the boy that I met may not be the only one after all. Wow, that's good timing. I suppose I can share Master's prophecy with this person as well. seems to be coming from over there. Huh? huh? Halt! Who's there? Hey, take it easy. What? Uh, outnumbered. What's going on? It's an intruder! A woman! It's a woman! Where? Let me see! I was only here to pass along my master's prophecy. But forget it. Fine, I'll tell them. Be forewarned. This power will lead everyone to great disaster. Well, now I've warned you, be sure to tell your boss. Is she a fortune teller? Did she mean Lord Bison? Was that Lord Bison's future? So... A fortune teller. Fate is a fixed line, eh? <laughs> Interesting. To resist and change one's fate, that is what comes from true power. <laughs> Came back from shopping, Chief. Hey, what's the matter, Chief? You look mad. My room. Huh? You thought your car was missing? Did you get pissed again, Chief? You told us we could borrow the car for the day. Did you forget, Boss? You're so scatterbrained. <laughs> Always so forgetful, big gorilla. Uh, Chief. Don't take it badly. It's becoming a bad habit, Abigail. Just flying into a rage.
Stay away. Shut up, Ed. Sorry. <laughs> Go back to sleep. We have to get up early. Damn it. I'm trapped and I can't move. I can't even scream. Then the feeling that my body isn't even mine. I know it's all because I was made in a lab. And I'm burning through new clothes every month because I grow like a freak. At least the aging slowed down. I hate being old. Because worse than nightmares, Balrog playing nursemaid and helping me take a crap. Dodging that bullet's a win for me. But the mist in that dream is feeling stronger. And so is this power. You! I sense something incredible is locked inside you. What? Who the hell are you, lady? Where did you even come from? Huh? Borok! Hey! Borok! When you're finished growing up, the you that you are will cease to be. <laughs> what are you, a fortune cookie? Uh, my master is always saying something like, Fate is a fixed line, but... Huh? Fate. Uh, yet... Oh, your fate. I guess I forgot. But you two will have some rough times ahead. Good luck! What just happened? Ed! Hey, Space Cadet! We're in the middle of a job here! Base, it's gone. Hm. I guess the nightmare's finally over. We're done. Yeah. When you're finished growing up, the you that you are will cease to be. That girl said, you two will have rough times. I guess she didn't mean Rog. There has to be someone else like me running around out there. <gasps> What's eating you, kid? Uh, it's just... If we stick together... You're gonna get hurt one of these days. 
You're too weak to hurt me. Chumps like you should shut up and follow orders. I ain't no chump. You'd be up a creek without me. That ain't bad, kid. <laughs> I'm gonna show you that you still got a lot to learn. what shape my fate comes in, fixed line or otherwise. Bring it on. Nothing decides but me. My destiny is mine to write. Guile. <sighs> Colonel. Chasing your tail out here alone again? Or was there someone else with you? Huh? I think it's time you gave it up, Guile. I don't want to believe it either, but all our searches turned up nothing. That may be, but if Nash is dead, But you're still breathing. Honor him by living your life. I understand. <laughs> Such pathetic dogs. Disgusting! and dreams as kindling. The world weeps under a blanket of bodies. But then... Like an angel, he came to me. What is thy name, child? I have none. Where is thy country? It's gone. Then I shall forge one. The country God. It could be thy new home. Siring every nameless flower. Bringing forth a thousand years of peace and harmony to all. If you desire it. I guess you've woken up. Charlie Nash, you will dedicate what's left of you to him. You've been granted a divine purpose, a worthier calling than any soldier, and you should be grateful for the privilege. <laughs> He can't. Has
Has he become a true demon god? No, not quite. <laughs> Your fist is indeed mighty. But without knowing the path of humanity, you will never reach the path of the divine. <laughs> Your weakness has never been more clear. A useless speech meant to prolong the inevitable. Accept your fate and go to hell! The sun! You will never reach the path of the divine. <laughs> the demon's path. I have no interest in the path of humanity nor the divine. Hmm? What is this? What have you done? Why will you not accept your fate? So you've sold the last of your humanity, Akuma? Ridiculous. I chose the path of the demon. At the end of my path, should I shed my humanity, I care not. Your pure fist of humanity, Muno Ken, and my demon god fist. Now, heaven and earth, light and dark will clash. Let nothing disturb our battle! My fist, is there no one in this world who can equal its power? Foolish boy, why are you smiling? Because now, I can ask you a question. To know yourself, one must ask questions, questioning others, themselves, or even gods. It's no different than seeking strength. <laughs> As a human, I'll keep asking questions. Through my fist! Hmm. <laughs> Pathetic. Answer me this, Akuma. What is your question, boy? My fist asks yours. Only yours can respond. That's how it'll always be. Our conversation won't end because the answer lies in the heart of battle. Hmm. Very well. If that 
that's true. Our paths will cross again someday. I shall meet you at your journey's end. Ryu. some of Bison's power. Interesting. How the hell did you know about that? <laughs> Remember this well, as it won't be happening again. Be gone and undertake your assignment promptly and without incident. And I will enjoy watching this farce through to its end. I know now that Shadaloo and Bison are involved, and the suits are closing in. Looks like the fun is just getting started. How did you get this number? Who cares about that when you finally have my attention? You're saying you would like to accept our offer? Sure. I've made my down payment to join this party. Two times already. was? So much trouble to sneak out. And now we're gonna work for him? After I get paid, it won't matter. Huh? After we do the job and I get my money, we'll be in the clear. Then I'll bash his face. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. When I spoke with the Glade of Ninjas, I wasn't expecting such an excellent recommendation. I was skeptical. We don't employ ninjas from outside of our family. But seeing as you're a good friend of Sakura's, I'm willing to make a special exception this one time, so that you can work with me. Work? I thought this was a party. It is a party, at which I'd like for you to be present, as one of my attendants. Do you have any other questions? Well, I... I understand, but there's nothing for you to worry about. The contract has already been approved by the Glade of Ninjas. The only thing left to do is sign this. All right. You're on the payroll, same as me. No, I'm not. Oh, and of course, when I was talking to Miss Sakura about you, she said you're trying to find a good-looking man. So you'll be very happy to know my parties attract many handsome men, and I think you'll find them quite nice. <gasps> you mean it? No way. Since then, so many things have happened. I've met so many people. And yeah, sometimes we fought. What did you say? Don't act so arrogant! You picking a fight with me? Arrogance? I've been working here longer than you have, and then you come in acting all bossy. It's amazing to think that in such a short time, so many different things could happen. But now, I'm just happy that it turned out okay. And I'm even happier to finally be home. Oh, Sarai! Yeah, I'll be arriving soon. I'm home! 
suppose it's time. We're not done here. Don't be flustered. The curtain hasn't risen on this stage of death, whose only performance will consume the world with despair. Stage of death? Are they planning to start a war? In the battlefield, staying in control means survival. So we're the ones who win, in the end. We... to bust this place, so bring out another toy. Get him out of here this instant! Otherwise, my laboratory will be destroyed! <laughs> A dream? Were you sleeping again? My dad was just asking if you looked at the invitation. Oh, and here, some more of your mail. Gift for your work at the base? What's that even mean? Why are you asking me? By the way, why don't you wash your face? You have a scratch on it. Scratch? That wasn't a. The Force has absolute destruction. Will clash against the Force determined to consume everything. The winner will be... <laughs> to witness Nikali is to know that you are a true and strong warrior. I will show you my power. <laughs> I am the jaws of death. The souls of warriors must return to me. It can't be. I gave him so many deep scratches. Enough time has passed. My poison is unmatched in its ability to kill any living creature. No, it doesn't matter now. I won't be killed here. I will survive no matter what. Please forgive me. From now on, I'm eternally yours to command Lord Bison. I have no need for loyalty. What? In Shadowloo, only those who wield true strength shall survive. You came against my power, and your strength is the only reason you're alive. If you lost that strength, your death would be certain. Survival is that simple. <gasps> this man is... This power is... If you want a life in Shadowloo, show me that you can be of use. <sighs> Power. To him, my poison was just like a single beast. And his power... His power is beyond even the strongest poisons ever known. This man isn't just on the side of killing. He will rain death upon all living beings. I've lived knowing every day could be my last, but I've realized... There is ultimate power. It does exist. I must gain more power in order to be of use to that man. I will eliminate all obstacles, prepare for battle, and help Lord Bison conquer this world! It is ticket for new wrestler talent scouting tournament. Oh, that sounds really exciting! Thank you! Well, I'm gonna head there right now. Ciao! Sure! Do svidanya! <sighs> wow.
Mara, where on earth did you go? <sighs> you're doing great. Besides, you're... <clears throat> well, I totally lost. But this was helpful. I learned more about my skills, and I'll get to go home with a great story. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to fight with you. Yeah, me too. You lost a battle, young master. Yeah, I lost. Does this mean you are going to stop the search for your friend? No. I realized something important during the fight. I felt something in Ryu's fist. Something like his... his passion. To keep moving forward. From his fist? Whether I have the ability or not isn't the big issue. It's a matter of whether I want to do it or not. <laughs> what was it you were saying before? If it's a silly thing the young master wishes to do, right? Young master. I'm going to save my friend, even if I'm alone against Shadow. I'm sorry, Azam. Do you think you'll come along and help me with this? <laughs> you are not alone, young master. Of course, I will go along with you. Mika. Mastering yoga is not easy, so don't be discouraged. Although you can't yet breathe fire, your passion will ignite the flame in the future. And when it does, it will also ignite everyone. Passion will ignite? I think I... I think I learned something! Thank you! Thank you for teaching me, sir! <gasps> hmm. It was an excellent fire. But it wasn't as big as yours, Master Dalsam. The size of the flame is not what is important. You are training your mind. Skill will only be a guide. When you care for someone, your mind is what becomes the flame. It also becomes the power to create harmony. To help you create that harmony, I will do all that I can for as long as it takes. Master Dalsim. Do you think you'd mind having a match with me, too? It can't be. You're a wrestler, too? Ha ha ha! Perfect! You two should have great match together. Wait! Let's talk about this! I received a message from Lara for you. I mean it, she said. The usual place. <laughs> Looks like there will be many steps in your journey. No! She has big potential! I'm hoping Mika will learn something valuable on the way. It reminds me of when we were guided by our masters a lifetime ago. Hmm. Now is our turn to... Huh? Just one more! I need to keep working on my muscle spirit! Just one more, please! I can't! There's but so much passion and pro wrestling spirit one can take before he faints from joy. Don't worry, comrade. Fiery spirit helps everyone. It isn't only for pro wrestling. The spirit you've inherited from your ancestors will fuel your power as a fighter. It is that spirit which will turn into muscle. You inherited spirit? I suppose so. Yeah! <laughs> finally! Today I go into the hollow ring, side by side with Master Zagia. I... I can't stop trembling. Do not be nervous, Mick. Your muscle spirit is ready for anything. And it is friend as well as mine, so I know you can do this. Th thank you so much, Master. If at any point you can't move the ring, just look at my trapezius muscle. It's your roadside. You can follow it to victory. Master Zongia. Okay, let's go, Mika. Wow, you're tougher than I thought. <laughs> I'm okay. Watching it all from Master Zangief's back has really taught me so much. Is that right? Mika, 
Keep looking at my back and learning lessons. <laughs> yes! Prepare! My iron muscle will teach you to! Come on! Everybody is so excited! The audience and the bear! <laughs> Wait! A bear? Master Zagia! I won't let you ruin the match! This time, I'll protect you! I'm losing it! Mika! Even this close, Master Zangief's skill feels miles away. Master Zangief? I don't think that my skills are developed enough yet. Mika, you have already inherited passion and spirit from me. When you stopped there, you looked fearless. Your spirit was burning hot with passion. Burning hot spirit? Oh! <gasps> That's right! The fusion of muscle and spirit! That is the muscle spirit! Only thing you need now is to continue muscle training until you are best ever! Muscle... spirit! Since that's the case, we begin immediately. We both have become comrades in muscle spirit. Come, I know you are more than ready. Now we will fight together side by side. Master Zongia, I'm going to. I promise, I'll do my very best. It's for this reason. I'm going to travel the world and teach about muscle spirit. Now, let's build some muscle. Um, no thanks. I don't think there's anything I can learn from someone as passionately bossy as you. Bossy? Uh... But weren't you listening to anything I was saying just now? The words and the passion and the greatness of Master Zangief. No, I just thought you were shouting a lot about nothing, so I tuned out. I was trying to be nice by helping you. Why don't we step outside? Just shut up! When I win, promise me you'll leave me alone. You've got some guts, but that won't keep me from beating the hell out of you. Don't underestimate me. After this is over, all you're gonna be seeing are stars. What did you say? Don't act so arrogant. You picking a fight with me? Arrogant? I've been working here longer than you have in bed. You come in acting all buff. Yeah, <laughs> that match was absolutely amazing. Yes, that match positively burned with passion. The iron arm of the world famous Red Cyclone. Such sharp movement with well honed skill. I'll have to revise my data. Miss Cuddy. Yes, I know. Well then, till we meet again. <clears throat> Shibasaki, what's next on the itinerary? Well, after our negotiations with the Ninja Village, we can choose participants for the fighting tournament that will be held in New York. Then, review the invitation list for the party. And tomorrow, we have a meeting with the representatives of different countries concerning the planning of the Kanzuki Space College. He'll be fine. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. But then, that's just the way I like it. Shall we begin? Bring it! <laughs> I never ate like this before. So tell me, why did you want to escape from Shadowloo? Why wouldn't I? I hate the way they handle business. 
The way they do things is terrible. Where is it written that I gotta wear this hat? Bastard! What do you think this will do to my brilliant style? No hat touches this hair! Hmm. You are a member of Shadaloo. You must obey the policies that I put into place. Did you really go against Shadaloo? <laughs> I'm very impressed. I'd like to invite you to be a guest of the Kanzuki family. A house guest? Does that mean I can eat for free? If you'll follow my orders, whenever it is you're needed. Oh, sure. Who do you want me to thrash? Miss Karin. Betrayal is proof of an incapable leader. If this man were to betray me, it would only be indicative of my unworthiness. Now then, to help you digest, please do take out the trash. The Kanzuki Ryu 100-man kumite! What? 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 What in the hell? What's so damn funny? I don't think you comprehend the danger of the path you've chosen. What? <laughs> You'll learn when the time comes. Don't move! What are you doing here? Hmm. You bastard! I guess I'll just wait for now. The fear of loss and the grief of despair will serve to create a new beauty. But until that moment... Please forgive me. From now on, I'm eternally yours to command Lord Bison. I have no need for loyalty. What? In Shadow, only those who wield true strength shall survive. You came against my power, and your strength is the only reason you're alive. If you lost that strength, your death would be certain. Survival is that simple. If you want a life in Shadowloo, show me that you can be of use. <sighs> what is the status of the operation? Yes. I'm proud to report all seven PSAs are in their final stage. The adjustments of our AS and dolls are coming along well, and we're currently testing them in a variety of scenarios. We are so close, we are so very close to finished. With everything in place, the world will be plunged into fear, and they will never again know respite from the absolute and powerful grip of Lord Bison. <laughs> A plan to conquer the world? As I thought, it looks like the engineers behind the missing hackers and SIN researchers was Shadowloo. But the reason why? I never thought Bison and Shadowloo's plans would be so grandiose. <laughs> he saw me. Uh. Huh? You, you mean there's a spy? They have no way of stopping this. Soon everything will come to an end. <laughs> have you made up your mind? I guess so. Wonderful. Then, why don't we start? A man's most crushing loss is always to himself. But it is also only he that can prevail over himself. I am not going to lose again. I've lost my world, my friends, everything. But I won't lose this anger or this hatred. I'll kill Bison. And no one will stop me. I don't think you comprehend the danger of the path you've chosen. What? <laughs> You'll learn when the time comes. Did you get hurt? I'm all right. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. Has Shadaloo gone on the attack? Operation Chains that he mentioned. It seems to be in effect. I'm afraid that you may be in danger again. Stay safe and wait here. Cammy. I'll stop Shadaloo's plan. 
and rescue them. I swear, I'll make sure to save them. All of them, trust me. However, I wonder if they actually may not want to be saved. No choice. I must face my past dead on. I have to save you all. No turning back. I'm not sure if I'm happy now or not. It's hard to know. But now, the time I'm spending with you helps me learn how to enjoy this new life. Please don't let it worry you. I'm happy that you saved me, and I know you can save them as well. Junie. Thank you. <laughs> That's something I should say. Please come back. I promise. <laughs> Looks like things are getting interesting. It can't be. I'm bringing you in. Now you will tell me about my father. <laughs> Chasing after a shadow of the past. That look in your eyes. Beautiful. Indeed, I can tell you about your father. Also, how he met his end. <gasps> Farewell! We'll meet again after you blue. I thought I had to do everything on my own. Always. But you were right. Thank you for your help. Both of you. Don't be so reckless next time. They can't be underestimated. I understand. And I won't give up. This isn't over. There. All done. It looks great. I thought... I was alone. That I couldn't count on anyone else. Leifen. Chen Li. I want to be strong. Just like you are. You will be. If we work at it together, anything's possible. How about we get started? <sighs> yes! Oh, Daddy. Oh? Oh, did you wake up, Mel? <laughs> I'll have someone take you all to your guest room. Do you think Ryu is coming? He's out there fighting against... the Satsui no Hado. Satsui no Hado? I don't know what kind of answers he'll find in that battle. Honestly, I'm not sure if there is one. Ken... But I know. He's gonna keep moving forward. No matter how difficult it is, that's just who he is. And... I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> the same as always. Satsui no Haro. It wasn't anything like I expected it to be. I'm still struggling to suppress it completely. But I've made up my mind. Until I find what lies ahead with this power, I'll keep moving and fighting, no matter what the answer is. I see. Then I guess it turns out we're not really after the same thing. But I did get something out of it. Thanks for that. Until we meet again. <laughs>